friends. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's Pastor Arden here. As we've talked about this month, we're learning about gratitude, about saying thank you. We can give thanks to the Lord for he is good. We can also give thanks to other people, to the people who help us. So today we're telling a story about a man named Nehemiah. And he was from the land of Israel, but was living elsewhere. And he heard that the capital city of Israel, Jerusalem, its city walls had been destroyed in a battle. And in those days, if you did not have really big walls around your city, your city was really vulnerable. Anybody could come in and steal stuff and there would be bad crime. It was really bad. And so Nehemiah really felt on his heart that he needed to do something about it. And so he got permission from his boss to go back to Jerusalem. And he started talking to the people there. And he said, we need to rebuild the walls. And so if Nehemiah had just wanted to rebuild the walls around a whole city all by himself, do you think he could have done it? Probably not. It probably would have taken him years and years and years and years. And he may never have finished if it was just one guy. But he talked to people who lived there, the people who made bricks, people who made, who did work with lumber, all these people who had different skills, they all came together and they built the ball around Jerusalem. And it was amazing that they were all able to work together to make that happen. And that's how it is with us sometimes, right? Sometimes there are big problems in the world that God wants us to help with, but we can't do it all by ourselves. But when we all work together and do a little bit, we can make amazing things happen and do God's work in the world. And we can also remember to say thank you to the people who helped us. Nehemiah remembered that. Nehemiah thanked everybody who helped him. He was so grateful to have so much help. And we can be grateful to the people who help us too. So I want you to think about who are some people who help you in your everyday? Is it teachers? Is it coaches? Is it the people, your mom or dad? Think about people who help you. And for your activity day, you're going to write some thank you notes. You're going to make a thank you note out of, um, you're going to write and then paint over it so you can see the, still see the word thank you. And you can give those to some people who help you out. So let's pray and we'll ask God to help us with that. Dear God, we know that we cannot do anything alone, that we are better together. We are better when we have people who help us. God, thank you for everyone in our life who helps us and help us to remember to say thank you to them. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.